Get Media, Mad Pod, Rare, Celebrity Interviews, Indie Music, MadPod.com. Your global audio internet connection. Coming up on MadPod.com. Hey everybody, how you doing? Jay Donnelly with you, MadPod.com. And coming up this week, with Corona's SDK App of the Week interview. The creator, developer of The Lost City, and secret of Grizzly Manor, Joe Kaufman. From Fire Maple Games, all coming your way next at MadPod.com. Don't get mad, get media. MadPod. MadPod.com. Hey everybody, Jay Donnelly with you, MadPod.com, and this week's Corona SDK App of the Week, Joe Kaufman from Fire Maple Games. Hello, Joe. Hey guys. Hey, How Jay. are you today? I'm doing good. So I think you're having uh, some minor success with your latest app, the uh, the Lost City. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, some minor. Yeah, the usual. <laughs> so you were number two in Amazon uh, App Store, or wh- where are you now? I'm at what number three. I'm at number three, but yeah, I got up to number two in the App Store. It's a, it's no, at number three on the Nook App Store, and um, it's a, it's a, on the iPhone, on the iO, on the iTunes Store. It's a, it's a, a lot of number ones around the world. Number one apps and number one in games too. Wow, that, that's great. We actually love your apps because uh, we, uh, my girlfriend, we have played the uh, Secret of Grizzly Manor. And uh, she spent a couple of days with the Lost City as nice. well. So, uh, how long did it actually take you to do the Lost City and or Secret of Grizzly Manor? What was your process? Uh, we, we talked earlier. You're saying that uh, you're basically Fire Maple Games, and you have a, another a friend that helps you out with the gaming part of it. So, how long did it take you to actually use your uh, or make your app in using Corona SDK? Uh, so the um Grizzly Manor took about six months, and um, the Lost City took a little bit over a year. But I, I did I take breaks because I'm the boss. I can <laughs> I set my own hours, so right, right. It's not a not totally full time, but um, um, the reason this one took so much longer is because I made the it's um, it's much more um, it's five times longer than Grizzly Manor was, and plus it has a dynamic inventory system and a dynamic map as well as um, a journal that keeps track of all the clues, and, it, and the, and the uh, text engine is dynamic, so I can um, I was able to translate this uh, game and localize it to uh, like eight languages. Wow! So how long so, did it actually take you to do the artwork? Did you what was your process in actually building this app from from start to finish? So the artwork is always the big um, that that takes always the majority of the time. These games are actually fairly simple to code. Um, it's it's um, like little if statements, you know, like if you open the door, make it. Make it invisible. Otherwise, make it visible. It's just kind of, the, the the coding part's actually fairly simple. It's the artwork that takes all the um, the effort. And um, I've been working with a good buddy on this one, and he's a photographer. So we've been traveling around to um, all these state parks in the in the country, taking photos and stuff for for the game. And then um, I then take the photos and hand paint on top of them to kind of make them all cohesive. I take little bits from different photos here and there to kind of make it like a you know magical landscape. And um, but yeah, that uh, I do everything in Photoshop. I do all the artwork. But yeah, let's see what else. So, what tips and tricks do you have for other developers? Um, not only but putting an app together with uh, Corona, but having the the massive success that you're having overall. What what is, what is your marketing <laughs> secrets besides having two great apps? Yeah, the uh, I, um, it's a good question. I don't uh, I. The marketing was for this game. I didn't. I didn't actually do any marketing. I didn't do any advertising. <laughs> so I, um, I simply made Grizzly Manor uh, a f- to be free, and I put. I put a big link on the main menu of Grizzly Manor to link to the new game. Um, and it's it's not a crippled version of Grizzly Manor. It's the full. It's the full uh, experience. So um, I've actually got in the past week. I've I've gotten two million downloads of Grizzly Manor in in, uh, in the United Kingdom. I'll have, to che- I'll have to check if it's current, but. Grizzly Manor was the number one free app, and The Lost City was the number one paid app. So it was kind of amazing to have two two Corona apps at the number one spot. Nice. Um, but definitely, definitely Grizzly Manor and making that free set um, um, gave gave most of the sales to The Lost City. I, I can only imagine. Um, but yeah, no no advertising, and I, I still barely have, have uh, hit um, 
hit res- review sites yet even so it's kind of it's kind of been like a secret um <laughs> a secret gym um, apparently yeah yeah <laughs> Yeah. So, so you also have great music um, playing, you know, during the app as well as the graphics. What? Uh, how did you produce the uh, the music? So yeah, I can I can do everything but the music. So the music yeah. we hired a, comp- a local composer um, um, uh, from Philadelphia, uh, David Decker. He did a great job. Um, yeah, there's twenty there's twenty minutes of original music in the Lost City, so it's kind of nice. It's like a nice orchestral soundtrack. You can come out with a, a soundtrack on iTunes. Yeah, we're working on that, actually. A little spinoff. There you go. Uh, so what else can you tell us about the app of, of building it from start to finish? Do you have a lot of overhead um, for something like this? What tips and tricks can you give other developers uh, who, who might be starting out using this? Yeah, I have no, uh, so, so Grizzly Manor, to be honest, cost $100 to make. And uh, <laughs> and uh, this this one took a little bit longer, cause, or a little bit more, because we translated it and hired a composer. But uh, since I do all the artwork, I mean, you can you can count my time as, as you know, money or whatever. But but I I love doing the artwork anyway, and the coding's fun too. So I, I have a blast. So it's not really like work. So the overhead of these apps is is very very low, which is great, and um, especially for the return on you know return on investment or whatever. But uh, yeah, and, and um, I've been I was a Flash programmer for ten years. So um, I really love using Corona. It's 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 so similar that my uh, my skills translate right over to it. And um, I can pretty much do whatever I, I can think of, which is really nice. It lets me be creative. Um, yeah, so do you, do you think you'll ever have a uh, a sequel to The Secret of Grizzly Manor or The Lost City, or do you think you'll just create a, a brand new app from scratch? Yeah, that was the that was the goal with The Lost City. Or I, I, I want to build up the brand of Fire Maple Games so that I'm I'm not constantly making Grizzly Manor two, three, four. I'm not just stuck into like a, you know stuck with that one hit wonder. So I wanted to make some different, like um, just different, different types of apps or different adventure games, different uh, you know, IPs or whatever. And that way, I can build off, build, build. I, I want people to be excited about Fire Maple Games as a adventure game company, not just Grizzly Manor. So, but however, I am working on the, the next game. Will be the sequel to Grizzly Manor, and it'll be it'll be a proper sequel. I'll make it. I'll make it um, nice and long and everything else. Oh, nice. So, so did did, uh, did you quit your day job, Joe? Yeah, I was able to quit my day job a couple <laughs> couple years ago. Actually, so it's been kind of nice. Yeah, That's good. It's, uh, and the low the low overhead of everything it, it makes it real easy. Um, and and because I'm doing the art and the programming, there's less arguments. <laughs> so I'm more yeah, I agree with myself. So it's just kind of <laughs> it goes real it goes real smooth. <laughs> so do you think you'll be building up a, a staff down the road, uh, or do you you're going to keep it small and uh, self contained with yourself? Yeah, I kind of I kind of like the smallness of it. it. It allows me to be. Um, I don't have to deal with all the management of other people and stuff. I get to do all the. I get to keep creative control, which is nice. I don't know. Yeah, people people say that I should I should you know, expand and stuff. But right now, I'm just having fun making the games. Are you using particle particle candy within your I, app? Yeah. Yes, I use particle candy. That's an that's an awesome awesome uh, particle engine for Corona. And that's another thing that's so great about Corona is I keep people keep writing these awesome libraries that you know. You know, they they expand the functionality of it. It's just awesome. Hmm. So, uh, where can we find uh, your apps? What's your website? Uh, FireMapleGames.com. And uh, I I need to overhaul the. Uh, <laughs> I still need to overhaul the website. Whenever you start these these. Uh, whenever you start your company, you only have one game to work with, so it's it's hard to make this whole website around it. So, I need to overhaul. It's been it's been a couple years. So you have a sequel of Grizzly coming out, and uh, what do you foresee beyond that? Uh, another adventure game after that. Yeah, I, I love making these adventure games. It's my favorite genre so ever since I was a kid. So I, I'm really excited that um, that they're taken off because I like making them so much. I don't feel I don't feel like I'm selling out. Like I don't feel like I'm just trying to cash in on this genre. Plus, it's a difficult genre to 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 make apps for. It's it's not so it's not so. Uh, it's easier making like a physics puzzle that has much less artwork. You can focus um, on the gameplay. These these require so much artwork that it. But I'm glad they're paying off for it. So did you yeah. sit down and actually uh, write the entire story and then stick to it, or did it change over the process of building the apps? Well, it, the the intent was to stick with it. Yeah, we we um, absolutely write the entire game out ahead of time and plan every um, object, every interaction, everything. Um, but as you play, as you build the game, you start to play it. Um, some parts you find that they're like are tedious, or you want to um, you, you you move stuff around, and, and it requires you to like 
yeah, change the architecture of, of the uh, where, where things are located. So, the ideally, yeah, everything's planned out ahead of time because it's it's uh, because the art um, because creating all the art assets takes so long. You don't want to redo them. So, yeah, ideally, that's planned out ahead of time. Well, we uh, we love your secret of Grizzly Manor and now the Lost City. Joe Kaufman from Fire Maple Games. Thank you very much. This week's Corona SDK App of the Week interview. Thanks, Joe. Thank you, sir. All right. Don't get mad. Get media. MadPod. MadPod.com.